GABA is the major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system of vertebrate animals. It counteracts the effects of glutamine, which is the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the nervous system. And glutamine plays a key role in learning and memory, as well as alertness and arousal. When GABA is released by the presynaptic neuron, it binds with specialised receptor sites on the postsynaptic neuron, which enables the uptake of negatively charged chloride ions to enter the postsynaptic neuron. And what this does is it makes the postsynaptic neuron less responsive to a variety of excitatory neurotransmitters, such as glutamate, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. So GABA has a relaxing, sedative effect on the brain. So for a normal person, when we're exposed to an anxiety-producing stimulus, such as heights, it's the GABA that counteracts the effects of the glutamine, which enables us to pay attention and be vigilant. The GABA will literally moderate our physiological response in terms of, let's say, our heart rate, adrenaline levels, sweat, etc. Now, some people have a dysfunctional GABA system due to possibly genetics or maybe a poor diet or maybe the consumption of psychedelic drugs such as speed, crack, cocaine, etc. So therefore, there's not enough GABA binding with those specialised receptor sites, the postsynaptic neuron, therefore not, a, not enough of those chloride ions entering the postsynaptic neuron. To treat this, we can take a benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine is an umbrella term for a variety of drugs that have a sedative effect, most famous being Valium, Xanax, etc. And they have an agonistic effect on the postsynaptic neuron by imitating the effects of the GABA and enabling more of that chloride ions to enter the postsynaptic neuron. So in a nutshell, the benzodiazepines bind with the receptor sites of the postsynaptic neuron, which enables more chloride ions to enter the postsynaptic neuron, which has a blocking effect in terms of the excitatory neurotransmitters, such as glutamate, less likely to fire.